Hello YouTube and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Fire Emblem, The Sacred Stones. This is episode 19, we're doing chapter 11 on Ephraim's Wrap. Uh, we are going to start off with looking at a couple, I turned a couple people up a little bit. Um, we'll see, Gilliam, almost level 20. Fairly good stats. Uh, brought Vanessa up to 10, she's, her speed's fantastic. Um, she's getting there, but... Didn't want to commit to that yet. Don't know, don't know between her and Cormig. Um, Amelia, look at that. Oh my goodness. Wow. So, we do have a Knight's Crest, so we're going to use that. And I always... I just, I love the general unit. I think it's, it's probably my favorite of the of the weaponed units, because I like a lot of magic units, but probably my favorite of the weapon units. Great Knight, eh. I mean, she's on a horse, stats are a little bit lower. Um, this, you just have better stats, yeah, you have lower movement, but I've made my decision. And we get our level up, and or promotion. Can I use swords? Can I use axes? Um, let's see, archer, loot, both about level 18. You can see, wow, loot is just terrible. This, she had such bad luck with, oops, sorry. She had such bad luck with skill this time around. It's just, wait, Amelia, that was a little lower too, but so funny, we'll have to do an episode of like comparing the stats between Erica's route and Ephraim's route, or I'll just like do it myself to see how things work out, but Alright, so in we still have France and Ford both level 20. I don't know if I'll even use both of them. Maybe Franz. Although that resistance and luck aren't great. Ford, everything's pretty good. Eh, I don't know, we'll see. Um, and then there's the Cor uh, Cormag that we got. So, nothing, nothing too special yet with him. Um, I mean, being level 9 unpromoted and being 30 HP is good. But anyways, so let us um, get on to the chapter. Oh, we have a shop and an armory. Anything we need to buy? We'll get a new bow for Nanny and we'll go to the shop. Nothing down there. Um, unlock, man, heal, flux. Um, can only use more thunder and shine. So here we go on the chapter. Um, General Duzel tells them of the enigmatic dark stone, yada yada. We're gonna get on a boat, head over there. Uh, this is, I think, this chapter, chapter 11 for Ethan, and then I think it's the next chapter, chapter 12 for Erica. They don't take place like actually on a map. You can never go back to these like battles and have like skirmishes and stuff. Um, so that's something interesting, but yeah, we'll be we'll be on the boat soon. Midway through the passage, an eerie fog begins to form. Fog of war. Up, oh, cutscene at Grotto Keep. Um, Your Majesty, I have returned. Selena, you coward. Why did you not execute Duzel? Forgive me, it was that fault. Selena, Duzel of Israelis, he bent his knee to Ephraim. Are you a traitor to him? I'm your majesty's vassal, I'm yours, body and soul. Your majesty, please, another chance, I beg you. Any order you see fit to issue, I will com complete. Selena, I have something for you. Ah, oh, but I missed... I hit B accidentally, sorry y'all. 
so we didn't get to see what he has. Um, he says, oh, this, he has this dragon, or there's this dragon stone, go get the dragon stone, and... Ever, um, what's ever? Excuse me, man, we'll have to continue this later. Uh, uh, alright. <clears throat> what is it, Seth? There's a ship following us, just on the edge of the fog. Should I ready the company for battle? Is it a grotto vessel? It's hard to say, the fog makes it difficult to see clearly. However, her crew seems to not be human. I don't know how he knows. <laughs> Rise and rage, my precious children of darkness. Ruin the wood and ride the sea. Drown your foes and devour their flesh. Come, celebrate the glorious rebirth of your lord and master, the Demon King. <laughs> okay, so... Let's get... Our promoted units first. Is everyone that we're using? Yes. Yeah, so. Who's not going to do? Oh, we definitely need. Oh, sorry. I'm just you call me or promoted. So Ross, and I get one more unit. Um, I'm gonna say Archer because there's some dark, uh, dark magic. So trying to make this quick, everybody. Sorry. There's a lot of, a lot of opponents, a lot of archers on this chapter, so be careful with your, um, your magic people. And your, sorry, your magic people and especially your bow people. Um, we don't have, later on in the world, there's a, um, oh wait, no, not Vanessa, she's not, she's not strong enough, and I'd be too scared of bows and stuff, so that means we can use loot as well. Cool. Okay, so where were we? Amelia. First time using her as a general in this, in our walkthrough, so that's exciting. And um, we'll go for that, that, that. Those stats are just... Amelia, Super Saiyan God. So we're 
to save, and let's begin. So, a couple things. Of course we know, um... We'll move Tana up and over. Make sure she can get range. Oh, we're right in the middle of that already. How far he can reach there, so... What you want to do first is get everyone... Justified over on the right side here with any ranged weapons they have equipped with them because the enemy boat we can see it's over here, it's going to move up and they're going to dock against us. So we want to be ready for that. Uh, and axe. Also there'll be things like these that can fly over around. So anyone with range, we definitely want to have range available. Oh, let me make sure. Um, animations, we want to turn them on for everyone, except right now, Tana. And we're going to move him down here to get a little better view. Okay, no one in range there. We're going to move this, and let's light it up over here. <laughs> Archer here. Okay, so... And not all of their monster, even like the gargoyle things, not all of them have the ability to attack at a distance. So, like you can see the one just sat down at the bottom there. There, the enemy's closing in. Prepare for battle! So let's just finish these things off real quick. Simple iron bow. All our horses on our boats. Um, that's really... does he have like a... No. Ross is just kind of lame right now. Ah oh, well, we'll just do it anyways, whatever. And I got a level up out of it, so hey, that's, that is also cool. But not a good level up, so that is less cool. And we'll just set another torch up to view a little further. everybody that's not on the boat. Uh, just again, be, be sure to steer clear of the boat because we've got, right now I can see three archers. I think that more reinforcements come from the steps and I think that's, yeah, I think that's good. Let me make sure, yeah, I just want to make sure that that can't swoop around to attack Loot. So we'll just stop there. Um, I don't believe there's anything we can steal from these monsters. I'll check in the next turn since we can see so many of them. Come on, Ross. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Oh my goodness, 23%. Come on, guys. And you're right next call. It's supposed to give you extra percents. Okay, so... They put alongside, they're trying to board, that's fine. Bring them within the reach of my lands. Push them back, board their ship, and seize the blasted thing. And those noises, of course we know, mean there were reinforcements in the fog. So. Amelia, the Red General. Level 1 general being able to double, I mean it is just like the zombie thing, so we know they're not great, but still. Alright, so we kill that guy. Kill this 
this gargoyle. Perfect. And then generally, you want to send a, someone, characters like these, to block the path, who can just take a bunch of hits. Just be wary if anyone has any scary items that are going to appear, like a horse slayer, or things of that effect. Fantastic, none of them do, so... Second range, uh, my second row, I have that covered too. And then we just have Tana here. Okay, good. Enough, he'll kill himself in the next turn, so now we get to watch. with that huge lance that has a chain on it because she needs extra weight. This Amelia is just so OP. Okay, and then Kyle, let's see if he'll be out then. Let me know anything. Anything below fifty percent is very reasonable for them to hit. When it's when they're the like fifty to seventy is when I have the best chance of dodging. Or when they do zero damage, then I can dodge because I'll, I'll get to use up all my dodging skills then. That's that's how this game works. That is just wicked. Spinning, spinning lances in the air like that. I don't understand why people do it. I, looking at how big that lance is when she's standing, I don't understand how she can do that with, um, without like going through the ground. But she's also like this tiny little toothpick and is wearing all that armor. Job, Seth. Okay, I spoke too soon. Bad job, Seth. Getting hit when they can do damage. Oh, Tana. Damage. No damage and miss. <laughs> okay, so let's continue. Alright, so Ross, get the kill as long as okay. As long as you don't get a ridiculous miss. Natasha, just simple lightning for a million damage. Before that slow thing can hurt anybody. Anything there? Um, 
You, can, you want to make sure to not leave units behind, though, because with the reinforcements that have been showing up in here, that could become bad. And so I'm trying to kind of bring everybody over. And that's just how I personally like to run this chapter. But you can find different ways if you want. Um, oh, loot. Taking all that damage. Not good. So let's rush them. Oh, nice crit call. Very useful. Saving those iron blades. What do they have? They have javelin, they have steel, javelin, they have steel. That guy out. Do a dodge. And they were right in their critical range of hitting with a 37%, so. that isn't ranged, and it has a chain attached to it. And it just sticks right in their entire torso. That axe is as big as that entire monster. That axe is bigger than Amelia. What a beast. Of course, Seth is not strong enough. did dodge 45, so that's good, and we're gonna level up. Now it's safe for Amelia to come back in here, so we'll finish this guy off. Perfect. with 42. Please, no one, no gargoyles fly out of nowhere and attack him. I feel like that's gonna happen. Okay, and Amelia, just kill everyone in the universe. Strong one. Seth misses that. Or Seth dodges. He does not miss. He has 100% accuracy. So. No chance of a crit, surprisingly, because normally he's around 10%. And I love when they can't do anything, but they still choose to attack. It just helps make the game go by quickly. I do hate is if they have a gargoyle who can attack um, Arthur, that means that they're gonna wait until he's the very last one to waste all this time if Arthur's gonna die. Because that's how Five Moon works. What? Another ship? Stay calm, everyone. We take the fight to them. The 
don't freak out, it's those ones. The Hara Shadow. And then some reinforcements all around. Okay, so we gotta send Ephraim to speak with her, to recruit her. I want to heal Loot up and get her out of the way. I want to heal him, Archer up, and get him kind of out of the way. where I don't give her any range weapon so that we can definitely watch her dragon and her eat people and stuff. Whatever it is that dragon people do. sword. Amelia's sword. She doesn't throw it with the chain. That's new. Gosh, General Amelia is just the coolest thing ever, and her stats just, I mean, yeah, skill could use it a, a bit more, but I'm certainly not gonna be complaining. She's got plenty of time to get those skills. character who can dodge a 29% and can dodge the much less accurate 30%. What about this 30% though? See, Amelia is just... See, off screen, I, tra I trained her in. Um, I trained her in 100 times Earth's gravity, so that's why she's so strong. And all of these eyeballs kill themselves. I'm just one, one little tiny axe. to save you. I grant you the aid by the favor of my divine aid. Who are you? What are you doing here? Ah, can it be? Do you not know the tales of my deeds? Have you not heard of the beauteous young woman traveling to defeat evil? No, I've not. What is it? It's nothing. Please, pay no mind to me. I just feel a bit like being alone and weeping for a while. What? No, you can't. This is the place for crying. I'm sure you've noticed, but we're under attack by monsters. If you can do anything to help, we would appreciate it. That's a good idea. I'll do it. Now, I want you to observe closely my graceful actions of not doing anything because she can't because she is just a healer. I may speak to Dazla. I'm going to be working with these people. Stay close. Are you ready? Gahaha. Ready as always. Gahaha. Okay, 
so. <sighs> Natasha. See, chapters like this, with all monsters, make just bishops so, so strong. do it, so. Ugh. Oof. So, Archer, just a couple levels away from promotion. Loot probably can't. Eh, no, actually, she can't. She doesn't take too much damage, either. But does she have to? Take a little one then, so I can move Amelia closer to over there. Okay, so. Oh, but see, I hate that. No, I'm actually I'm gonna do this instead because. Um, oh, perfect. Iron sword. Yeah. With a spinning pony. Everything spins in this game, I've noticed. Come on, Colm. Come on, Dodge. Come on, Colm. Fantastic. And four experience. Of course, he can reach the boss can reach Colm, and that could certainly be bad. So we're gonna come on back. And we'll let them just come to us. And by us, I mean Natasha. And by come to, apparently, I mean hit with 38%. Really, that's something I've never- I've done hard mode before. I've never encountered that to the- The level that is happening to me this playthrough of them hitting such low chances all the time. Let's see. So I can easily kill that. And then what about Natasha on the sky? Oh, heavens, yeah. Okay, so... We'll just slaughter him. And now Natasha can... Lightning. Oh, crit lightning. Yeah, just like, I'm gonna take a second to turn the top of my staff um, into a lightning ball, apparently, and then just obliterate your life and get a very nice level up, too, and a short spear. Get some killing. Yeah, you throw that javelin right in my ball. I'll spin it around once, because spinning is. This is Fire Emblem, the spinning sounds. And good job, Ross, of being Jesus with an axe. Axe Jesus, that is your name. I have decided. Alrighty, 
Marcelo. Um, the noise hasn't changed, there's still at least two enemies left. Maybe more. Oh. Well, there's one of them. <laughs> I wish that I had a, uh, a longbow. Let me see what's the furthest he can reach. Oh, right there, exactly. Oh, I can't. Can't even get in his range anyways, but... percent another crit but 23 percent come on now this eyeball shouldn't do anything at all yeah so as long as there's not another hidden gargoyle nearby with some steel weapon that's gonna hit with some crazy low percentage oh I don't know if I finished my thought I started saying it but yeah I've never never played through where they've hit so much with such low chances Let's kill an eyeball with some lightning. These are the creepiest ones. Floating eyeball with like the optic nerves. Just chilling behind it. I never really understood their existence. Oh, sweet. So that's the last thing. Um, she just has a mend, right? Yeah, I don't want to waste a mend. So. Anyone super close to her level? Oh, he can't reach. She's already got one. He's already got one. No, can't reach. Oh, there we are. Might, might not even get it, but... Oh, we'll turn... Yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll let you see the graphics of her dragon attack. We'll see two rooms. And then look at the fangs of the dragon, it's just so cool. And then that just goes right through its entire its entire eyeball existence. So yeah, that's the chapter. They destroyed the remaining monsters. The ship appeared to be empty to be. Our victory to you. Not at all. No we don't. They didn't do anything. Lara shell. Be honest, dot dot dot. Oh my. So from now on, she's Takei. The other princess of Rostin. Um, okay, I'll just be honest, Dazla, meh. Not really, not really one to use. He's not like, um... They've docked here, no sounds of enemy troops for right now. Uh, we have a little cutscene and then I think it makes us jump right into the chapter. Yeah, so there's Sal and Ewan. This is where Marissa is supposed to be. I have to tell her what's going on or she'll end up working for free. Some mistake, but yeah, the mercenary girl got Marissa mixed up with someone else. I don't know where she is supposed to go, but they sent her here instead. I figure I better let her know about the mix up, right? So, what are you going to do now? 
I'm heading back to the village. I've looked near and far, but I haven't been able to locate the Lord Dragon. I must report my findings. Ah, I, ah, I see. I'll be going now, remember what I told you, Ewan. I know, I know, don't be reckless with magic. Now, to be reckless with magic, yay! <laughs> Sending but Grado, I mean, I know it's a spectrum of this. We have tons of soldiers with the camp, but nothing against his number, certainly. Currently, we have some ready reservists in the rear protecting the supply convoy. What good is defending our convoy if it comes to the cost of losing the front? We must abandon our rear guard and strengthen their van. Blah de blah de blah, they're just saying weird words and. Mare? Oh, pardon me, I. It, it's nothing. Mare. She was trying to warn you. It's a trap! The city's calm, we've got our men, we're under attack! All troops prepare to fight! Did I? Did I? No, I didn't, I didn't do the question today. Well, we'll look at our characters that we got the last chapter. Question of the day, Lara Shell. Is it worth. I mean, she has good growth, she can be a good unit if you use her. She has to be either a Valkyrie or a Mage Knight, neither of which is great. So, my question is, is it going to be worth it? Do you want to see me use La Rochelle? Let me know in the comments below. Um, subscribe if you're having fun with this. Uh, be sure to like watch the playlist. I add all these into the playlist. I've been adding about at least like a couple episodes a week. Um, yeah, so I'll be back next time with Erica's chapter 12.